A crash course in stem cells. A stem cell is an undifferentiated cell of a multicellular organism that is capable of giving rise to indefinitely more of the same cells, and from which certain other kinds of cell arise by differentiation. There are two types of stem cells, embryonic and non-embryonic. The embryonic stem cells, as their name suggests, are found in the embryo bodies. These cells are capable of long-term growth and self-renewal. Embryonic stem cells are pluripotent. They have the capacity to produce many different biological responses. The other type of stem cell is a non-embryonic stem cell, or sometimes referred to as somatic or an adult stem cell. The primary role of the adult stem cell is to maintain and repair tissue from which they are found. There are a very small quantity of these cells in each tissue type and they can enter normal differentiation pathways only within their home tissue. An adult stem cell is thought to be an undifferentiated cell found among differentiated cells in a tissue or organ that can renew itself and can differentiate some of all of the major specialized cells of the tissue or organ. The primary roles of adult stem cells in a living organism are to maintain and repair the tissue in which they are found. Adult stem cells have been identified in many organs tissues including brain, bone marrow, peripheral blood, blood vessels, skeletal muscle, skin, teeth, heart, gut, liver, ovarian epithelium, and testes. The region of the specific tissue that they are found is called the stem cell niche. Stem cells may remain non-dividing for long periods of time until they are activated by a normal need for more cells to maintain tissues, or disease, or tissue injury. A number of experiments have reported that certain adult stem cell types can differentiate into cell types seen in organs or tissues other than those expected from the cell's predicted lineage. These cells were reprogrammed. In 1998, scientists discovered a method to derive stem cells from human embryos and grow the cells in a lab. They studied embryos created by in vitro fertilization, in Latin meaning in glass. The egg and the sperm were combined in a lab, not inside the female body. Stem cells are essential for the three to five day old embryo, the blastocyst, these inner cells give rise to the entire body. This is a display of their pluripotency. Starting from the blastocyst, this diagram demonstrates how the inner cell mass is extracted and formed into an embryonic st stem cell culture and then expanded and differentiated into cells found all over the body from the intestinal cells, muscle cells, blood cells, neurons, liver cells, all types of cells. Scientists have been able to genetically reprogram adult stem cells to behave this way as well. These cells are called induced pluripotent stem cells, IPSCs. Stem cells' unique abilities and potential for treating disease have led scientists to look further into their regenerative properties. The big question is, how do undifferentiated stem cells become differentiated cells that form tissues and organs? Scientists believe that it has something to do with turning genes on and off during the differentiation process, but they're not sure exactly how it's done. A better understanding of how stem cells work could help scientists find cures to some of the most serious medical conditions such as cancer, which is due to an abnormal cell division and differentiation. Not to mention, stem cells have the potential to generate entire organs, which could be great and used for transplants. Scientists believe that stem cells may be the cure to all the following diseases. Alzheimer's disease, spinal cord injury, stroke, burns, heart disease, diabetes, osteoarthritis, and rheumatoid arthritis. Embryonic stem cell research does cause an ethical dilemma. To study embryo stem cells, the embryo must be destroyed. So this raises the question, what classifies as human life? Is it our duty to alleviate suffering, more important than our duty to respect human life?
A few small studies have also been carried out in humans, usually in patients who are undergoing open heart surgery. Several of these have demonstrated that stem cells that are injected into the circulation or directly into the injured heart tissue appear to improve cardiac functions and or induce the formation of new capillaries. The mechanism for this repair remains controversial. Also, it may be possible to direct the differentiation of human embryonic stem cells in cell culture to form insulin-producing cells that eventually could be used in transplantation therapy for people with diabetes. These are just some of the up-and-coming benefits of stem cell research, although there is always an ethical question to be kept in the back of your mind. A crash